Well, good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. here uh, in Virginia. Uh, it's the uh, day after the big uh, lunar eclipse, big old full moon, and more importantly, the first day of uh, about a 10-day vacation for me. Got a bunch of things we're going to do around the house, and then maybe Tuesday of this coming week, two days before Thanksgiving, we'll take the Big Ten out and do his little camp trip and uh, test a lot of his new gear out. And the sun is beginning to come up. It's chilly out here. It's like 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, no snow. Nothing like that. We'll get some cold temperatures. Uh, middle of the week. Supposed to be, get down about 26, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So that will gives a good chance to, you know, test the stove out and, and some other stuff. And cook a good meal or two out in the big tent. and Just have a little fun. Can't buy a snowflake yet, but... It's all good. And our very first frost of the year. Hot dog. I think uh, we can officially say that uh, winter is on the way. Well, me and Sherman have gotten a good bit done uh, today. Uh, put a new mailbox up, which you can see done a few things with our solar panels and we're running our ring doorbells off of those now and, and this is sherman he is uh my wife does pet sitting and this is uh one of our clients dogs and he likes to come around in the backyard with me and just kind of lounge around and, and do things maybe here a little later on uh we'll do a fire or something like that maybe do some coffee or hot chocolate or something outside uh, we're gonna plan on doing a little bit of a camping uh, event Tuesday night and uh, it promises to be a cold 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 night for Eastern Virginia standards November it's supposed to be like 27 28 degrees we've got one more sunny day uh, it's tomorrow then Monday's supposed to kind of have a rainy mess here you see the sky is a beautiful blue leaves are just about tricked out and all coming down now which is a, a big project <laughs> to try to get all of this uh, done but anyway like I said vacation for the next uh, 10 days uh, so looking forward to it old Sherm says a cute face like that's definitely worth a, a like a, a comment a share and even maybe a new subscriber too so uh we're finishing up the day and hopefully we'll slide in the darkness here for long and they have us a little fire and some hot chocolate and whatnot. Hope everybody else has had a great uh, Saturday. Yeah, me and old Germ, been out here a good while now. Got out here about like 4.14 this morning and the moon was still out and the sun hadn't quite come up yet. And Sky had uh, gotten that glow in it, and here we are. Sun's about to go down. It's uh, a little bit after 4 p.m., so we've been outside almost 12 hours, I guess. We've been inside a couple times to take care of things, but Sherm says he loves it out here. Uh, I do too, buddy. So tell everybody, what's your favorite camping channel? Let's see, Dave, call you camping. <laughs> Sherm, you're a good dog, man. Well friend. Welcome back everybody, Dave here. Tonight we're going to try a little bit of a practical uh, application here in the complete darkness. You may very well remember these uh, pull fire start things that uh, we used to use during the day. We've used them during the daylight, we've never used them actually in the darkness. So just imagine that you're out on a camping uh, trip, nighttime, you've wandered away from your camp, but you have one of these little things in your pocket. You remember how you look, kind of loop the uh, green string around something uh, solid and then you pull the red string. You, know, uh, you don't need any matches. They're windproof up to like 200 miles an hour. Lights wet, wood, and it burn 30 minutes. So we're going to see whether we can make this happen. Bring you back in just a second.
Hey, you probably be able to see, maybe you'll be able to see where I've uh, got that green string uh, around this little piece of pole uh, in the ground here. And you come out here and you see that red string. And what's going to happen, let's say you needed to light a piece of wood or, you know, get yourself a fire going. It's really cold and really, really tough out there. So we're going to sit there and demonstrate how this thing works. Now just imagine that it's a really cold, wet night, you've lost your way, and you had to get some wet wood going, really windy. And that's what that looks like. It's called pull fire start. It'll light, uh, stay lit for about 30 minutes. It'll wet, uh, light wet wood. You can get these at uh, Walmart, Amazon, I don't know, about four, five, six bucks, depends upon. I have never had one of these fail yet. Uh, we've never used it in the uh, darkness before. I've used it during the daylight, uh, during the summertime, during thunderstorms and everything else. And it never has uh, let me down. It's called pull fire start, pull start fire, or something like that. So, like I said, you find yourself in one of them uh, campers equivalent of a twilight zone. You wander away from your camp or even if you have all your gear with you but it's soaking wet and you absolutely positively had to get a fire started well this thing will do it i mean i'm standing probably four feet from it and i can uh feel the heat come off of this incredible thing and you can just imagine now putting wood on top of there it's, it's going to take off Yeah, I definitely recommend this thing. Keep one or two of these in your pack, just in case you face the unexpected, unbelievable. And say so you uh, loop the uh, green string around a uh, log or anything that's uh, pretty heavy, you know, that can't be pulled, and then the red string, you pull it hard and straight, and you're going to get that pop just like you, you saw a few moments ago. And this is the result. And then you just start uh, putting your little twigs and everything. Build your fire like you would any other time. And before you know it, you got a rip on blaze. We're in about, I don't know, six or seven minutes, and it's still throwing the, f and the flame and the heat off.
you may be, see, be able to see what's left of the uh, green string <laughs> on this piece of pole like that. That's the section of the string that you uh, attach to something heavy, you know, like a log, whatnot. And I just ran this piece of thing right into the ground. Still kind of squishy out here. And as you can see, that stick that I put on there, she's already burned. We're about uh, 11 minutes in, she's still burning. About 14 minutes in. It is about uh, 7 p.m. Temperature is about 40 Fahrenheit. It probably won't go a whole lot lower tonight. Um, tomorrow's supposed to have a really mild day, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Then after that, uh, Monday will be uh, wet all day. And they say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, really gonna get cold. And uh, it's our intention Tuesday night to take the big uh, twin Lux Twin Peak out 3W Wild West stove and uh, get us a little uh, camping time in out here on the edge of the wood line here no snow <laughs> just cold about uh 19 minutes in now. Fire's getting a little lower. But still throwing off a good bit of heat. And obviously if you had small sticks and everything, you could definitely still build a fire on that. By now you'd already have uh, moved into the larger stuff. Too bad these cameras can't detect heat and smell and stuff. Four minutes in. A few months ago, I did a video that I used the uh, one of those uh, yard back things, leaf blower, and uh, pointed it right at the flame, and it would not go out. Right now, it is a completely dead still night, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, partly cloudy. Might be able to see the moon out there in the distance. Nearly a full moon. Just two nights ago we had that uh, lunar eclipse. Let's bring our attention back here. About uh, 26 minutes and 30 seconds in. Fire is getting a little bit lazier now, but still burning. So it may very well live up to this 30-minute uh, thing. It, it has uh, every other time I've used this. Of course, this is the first nighttime use of it. <laughs> 28 minutes. 15 seconds. Still burning. See our trusty old uh, lantern there. 
I'll tell you what, for seven bucks, this lantern really has been, it's been cool. It really has. I need to pick myself another one or two of these up. I know you can get uh, a lot more expensive ones, a lot heavier duty. But for seven bucks from Walmart, the old hurricane lamp. Alright guys, we have reached 30 minutes. Still producing flame. Can't beat it. We'll see how much further it goes beyond the 30. Bull Star Fire, what the name of it is. All right, we're at 32 minutes, nine, eight, I'm crossing into 33. I hope everybody's uh, run up to Thanksgiving. Uh, you have a great time. Everybody's doing well. We had a pretty busy day today. We uh, put a new mailbox up. It definitely needed it. The other one had been out there for, oh, I'm going to guess over 30 years. Literally rusted into oblivion. Then we uh, hooked up our... Uh, ring doorbell cameras to uh solar panels and uh instantly started charging those up really good so far i've been pretty pleased uh, the one in the front was a little more uh problematic but still turned out good all right man not a whole lot of flame left in it now i mean it's still with uh you know light small twigs and stuff on fire in it 34 35 almost 35 minutes Pull start fire. <laughs> All right, it's saying it is, uh, just dropped to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes I don't think these weather people know what they're doing. I'm sure y'all can probably see the moon out in the distance. Big old full moon. More importantly. Look at that. Full start fire just barely hanging on, but it went way over 30 minutes. All right. All right, well, I'm going to let this go on out. And uh, thank everyone of you for dropping by and seeing this as a demonstration. I'll tell you what, if you had to find yourself in a deep, troublesome situation, you know, lost day or night and you absolutely had to get wet wood going high winds full star fire it'll do it guys